Hi guys, Melissa Johnson, Independent Sensi Consultant, back with you again today for Melters Mixers. And I have a few here. Um, I did a mix um, down here, um, and this one was a suggestion from Jennifer Kerwin, and she mentioned um, doing Rainbow Sherbert and Be Fabulous together. And these were really good. Um, they're both equally strong. Um, they both last about the same time. Um, Be Fabulous is Lemoncello and Grapefruit. Um, it's so good. <laughs> One of my all-time favorites. Always goes in my, always, it goes in my club. Um, Rainbow Sherbert is just like you're eating Rainbow Sherbert. You know, you get that almost frothy kind of sherbet <laughs> with like the lime zest and stuff it's amazing and together they're just wonderful so if you want a nice um strong just um fruity almost like fruit punch kind of um citrus like extravaganza <laughs> i i do i highly recommend putting these two together that was a lot of fun love that jennifer thank you and um i changed it the next day uh, but i could still smell it so um probably last a couple days for you guys even though citrus isn't a real long lasting one those two are strong enough that um if i hadn't have been anxious to change it out to keep going <laughs> Um, I mean, it probably would have lasted at least two days. Um, the next one that I did was a suggestion by Lee Harding from, um, Send It With Lee in the UK, and he suggested putting together Banana Berry in Ursula Poor Unfortunate Souls, and this was my last Banana Berry. Um, I love Banana Berry, but it's very, I don't, I get zero berry. I don't know if people just see berry and they think it has berry, so their mind tells them they smell berry. <laughs> I don't smell any berry. <laughs> so I'm always like, what? When people say they smell the berry or strawberries, I'm like, I get banana pudding. That's all I get. Um, but it just doesn't last. It's like a four hour, six hour tops kind of scent. It is beautiful the four to six hours that it's going. Um, and then Ursula Poor Unfortunate Souls is like a blueberry, goji berry, um, probably raspberry, kind of a, a mix of berries. Um, and these were fun together. It was nice and fruity, but like this died off and all I could smell um, was Ursula, which I like that one. But, you know, so that was a fun mix. Um, if you have banana berry from the most recent Bring Back My Bar and Ursula for unfortunate souls. So that's a fun one to try. It's very fruity. It's like a fruit, like a, like a banana berry <laughs> mixed salad. It, yeah. Like the Ursula, you know, makes banana berry more berry. <laughs> um, cause I just don't get any berry from that one. Um, and then the next suggestion is from Shun. Okay. Correct me if I'm wrong, Chantal, <laughs> because I tend to want to say, because um, I want to make everybody's name French for some reason, <laughs> so I want to say Chantal Richard, but is it Chantal Richard? <laughs> um, my son had a teacher in school, and her name was Mrs. Chapel, and I always called her Miss Mrs. Chappelle. <laughs> I don't know why I do that. I always want to make everybody's names super fancy in French. So, um, Chantal, <laughs> let me know if it's Richard or Richard. Because <laughs> it's spelled Richard, but I don't know. Because your first name is fancy. I want to make your last name fancy. I don't know. Um, but Chantal suggested putting together Grape Granita and um, Tangerine Creamsicle. This was fun. Um, Tangerine Creamsicle toned down grape granita like way far down and I was like that's nice so um it I mean grape granita is super super strong and can be super super obnoxious but the the almost creamsicle with the vanilla and the like light tangerine it's just like you're eating a creamsicle 
the vanilla in this brings the brings grape granita way way down and they're just really nice together so you guys if you happen to have grape granita which that's my last bar and you guys i took it out of my club because i'm like i don't need to keep doing just one more bar no um because you know it's not my favorite thing and i need to stop doing that so i don't have this in my club anymore and this one is currently available so if you have those thank you chantal for that um again i usually change these out the next day to keep going um, with suggestions from you guys so um I mean, it lasted all day for me. It was into the next day for the grape granita and tangerine creamsicle that I was still smelling it. I think it was like middle of the next day that I'm like, well, I should put another one in um, to, to keep going. So, um, and I did all three of those down here because um, they were really good. <laughs> and then one from me. Um, I was thinking it would be fun to put together, um, Johnny Appleseed and Palo Santo. Um, I was trying to get like a smoky apple kind of a feel. Um, John, it didn't work because <laughs> I pretty much mostly 90, 95% mm, smelled Johnny Appleseed. I could smell a teeny tiny bit of Palo Santo, but it was hardly anything. Um, I mean, I could kind of tell that it was there, but this, it was mostly Johnny Appleseed. So next time, if I were to do this, these were cut in fours, um, about the same size as a cube. Um, I would go to Palo Santo to one Johnny Appleseed. Um, but I, I have to wait for more Palo Santo to come in my club. Um, so this one is so strong that it kind of takes over the Palo Santo. So if you happen to not love Palo Santo and have some, uh, Johnny Appleseed will kill it. <laughs> I can pretty much only smell Johnny Appleseed. I don't know. I was just, I thought it would be fun to try. Um, but again, I, my ratio wasn't right. So I definitely recommend um, two Palo Santo to one Johnny Appleseed if you're going to try that one. And the last one for this week is still going upstairs in my bedroom. Um, I was very fascinated by this suggestion because I would have never, never, never thought to put these two together. And whenever you have jammy time, you've got to put that in your bedroom. <laughs> so Jessica Richardson um, had suggested putting together um, jammy time with um, blueberry cheesecake. <laughs> you guys, I have hardly any blueberry cheesecake left and I'm getting down there on my on my jammy time which is a little sad so I love this one but what an interesting con con combination I was gonna say conversation what an interesting combination these two made so you could smell the blueberry cheesecake but yet you could also smell jammy time and think of it like eating blueberry pancakes or blueberry cheesecake <laughs> in bed when you have freshly washed um sheets done in jammy time um it was fun I actually really enjoyed this and blueberry cheesecake is the type that it's it's strong kind of going out and then it kind of dies off um not like banana berry like I can smell this the blueberry in it um all day it's not like four hours and then it's gone forever. Um, so like you could still kind of smell the blueberry, but by the end, by e by bedtime, like jammy time was still coming down my stairs. Um, so I could still smell jammy time and, but I didn't smell blueberry cheesecake at that point anymore. Um, and jammy time lasts in my bedroom for like a week. <laughs> So it's still going to my bedroom. Um, I did this one yesterday and um, I, I can still smell it. It's it's really good. So I no longer smell the blueberry cheesecake part of it, but um, I smell jammy time. But you guys, that's worth trying. Um, jammy time and blueberry cheesecake. Um, I was like, I'm so fascinated by this. I have to try this. And I actually really, really enjoyed it. Um, it's really, truly worth trying. Now, if you get the, 
the cream cheese of the cheesecake, you may not love this. Um, but I mean, those of you that enjoy blueberry cheesecake, try it with you anytime. Um, that's one I would have never, never, never thought to do, but it was fun. <laughs> it was kind of like a breakfast in bed kind of a thing. Um, but you're eating like blueberry pancakes or blueberry cheesecake or, ooh, cheesecake filled blueberry pancakes. Whoa. <laughs> in bed with, you know, freshly washed sheets and, oh, it was fun. You guys try that one. So thank you, Jessica. Um, I really enjoyed that one. So, um, thanks for a suggestion that is like completely not two that you would think to put together. So that's Milters Mixers for this week. Um, I worked on quite a few of them. So, and I'm waiting for my monthly club to come in. It should be here Thursday. Um, and that's got some more bars that you guys, um, summer bars that you guys had suggested, suggested for mixing. Um, and then next month will be the bi-monthly club that's got, um, some of the fall that I don't have, like almond croissant. Um, I, I have to wait for that club to come in, but you know, I'll get to them. <laughs> you guys, I will. Um, and then my party that I cashed out still hasn't shipped. It's got the Mother's Day stuff in it. Um, but in my, um, monthly club that's coming on Thursday, <laughs> um, it's got the Easter bars in it. Um, and then whenever my club comes or my, um, party comes, it's got the Chase Rainbows collection, the Mother's Day collection. Um, but my club that comes on Thursday has the whiff box in it. Now, sadly, <laughs> I watched three videos, you guys. Well, okay. I watched two videos. One, I was scrolling and saw somebody's, um, thumbnail and it had one of the whiff box items in it. I'm like, okay. So now I know that's coming in the whiff box because it was titled, um, uh, March, April whiff box. And I saw a picture of the person holding it and I was like, okay, well, okay. So I know one thing that's not so bad. And then I watched two other videos, you guys, and right in the middle of it, no warning whatsoever. Two people are like, this is this, you know, if you got this in the April with box, um, and this came in the April with box and I was like, okay, so yeah, I know like three things <laughs> they are coming in the April with box before I even get it. And I try so hard to be surprised, but, um, this month it just was not working in my favor, which it didn't help that they were behind on the flash sale orders. Um, yeah. So I know half of the box. <laughs> um, I don't know. Hopefully I'll be surprised at whatever else is in there, but you'll see that when I get that on Thursday and I'll have Dale help me um, do that video. So and then I just want to, okay, so today is um, the Little Mermaid collection. Thursday will be the Star Wars collection. And then we have to talk about what's coming out on um, May 1st. <laughs> um, the summer collection, you guys, I'm really excited about this one. Um, last year I got... Oh, like none of them stayed in my club, but blue agave and melon was one I really wish I hadn't have taken out of my club because I really missed that one. Um, so I'm really anxious to see some of these, but um, we have two warmers, a full size green warmer and a pink mini warmer um, in this lovely cactus design. Um, so adorable, but, um, I mean, I don't need them, but I absolutely love the design on these. I think they are cute as cute can be. Um, my daughter would love those. So you have the Desert Darling Pink Mini Warmer for 25 and the Desert Darling Green Warmer for 50 full-size warmer. Then I have to tell you my favorite thing. <laughs> um, y'all know I have a parrot. <laughs> 
So um, I think it's super cool that they have bitty buddies in a flamingo and a cockatoo. I'm like, oh my gosh, I need those. So don't buy them all. <laughs> um, and then I need this, this um, buddy. It's um, a toucan <laughs> buddy. Oh my gosh, I need him. <laughs> um, and they have four bars coming out, four cents. Like last year it was like mango, Mandarin Mango Nectar, Blue Gave Melon, the Fiji Flower. Um, I can't remember the other one offhand. But this year they've got Cucumber and Cactus Water, which is crisp cucumber, wades into refreshing cactus water and sea salt. I think that smell, that's going to smell amazing. And then Feeling Punchy, which is bright tangerine, pink lemon, and a splash of um, fruit punch. And then they have peachy and palm trees, sweet peach and mango, add a tangy twist to smooth coconut milk. And then this next one, I don't really know how to pronounce. Um, Kukoi? <laughs> Cookie? <laughs> um, and coconut. It's a nut. I know it's a nut because I've seen coffee. Um, tropical coconut and kukui nut lounge on a bed of soft jasmine. So that's the new scents that are coming out. Um, just, sorry, I butchered the Hawaiian one. Um, so they'll be coming in wax bars and Scentsy pods and the fragrance flowers, which, um, since he's extending the fragrance flower sale to include those, which is totally amazing. And then we have all of these goodies. <laughs> so we'll have um, a cucumber and cactus water laundry bundle with the laundry soap and the um, whiffs, which I'm really excited about. And also the Scentsy Fresh um, in the cactus water and cucumber scent. And then they're going to have the peeling punchy in the cleaning. Um, they're going to have it in bathroom cleaner and counter clean. Um, and then they have the two cent soaks in the kukui. <laughs> kukui and coconut. So I should have looked that up. I was so excited to share. I didn't even think to look up how to say that word. Um, and the peachy and palm trees soak. So the kukui nut and the peachy and palm trees. My apologies if I've totally messed that up. Um, that also will come in the hand soaps and the hand creams. Um, and then they have the fragrance oil set, which these ones sound fun. I didn't get the Valentine's ones cause I was like Rose, <laughs> like simply Rose kind of ruined it for me. Um, I'm just like, no, I'm good. <laughs> um, but these ones are in beach berry smoothie, um, a sweet blend of juicy beach berry and vanilla cream garnished with lime leaves. Uh, oh no, some more things I can't pronounce, you guys. Um, calamansi and coconut. Bright calamansi, have no idea what that is. Looks like a fruit. Um, bright calamansi and zesty orange peel cool off with a splash of coconut water. And then jasmine and cocobolo. Are these all Hawaiian? <laughs> I've never been to Hawaii, can you tell? My son has always wanted to go to Hawaii. Now I just look stupid <laughs> because I don't know how to say their names. And I don't know what Kokobolo is um, other than it's a wood because it says calming jasmine, Kokobolo wood wrapped in soft banana leaf. So those look like so much fun. I'm so excited to try these. Even though fruity isn't really my wheelhouse, I do appreciate a good fruity scent and I'm really excited about the kukui <laughs> and coconut because it's like a nut and I think like macadamia nut. Um, so to be like a soft tropical kind of nut. Um, and then the jasmine and cocobolo wood. I, I love woodsy. Um, calamansi. I'm pretty sure that's how you say that. I've heard, I'm pretty sure I've heard that word before. Calamansi um, in the orange and coconut water is probably more fruity. 
along with the beach berry smoothie. Um, but yeah, I am excited to try those, you guys. Um, so yeah, <laughs> so that looks like so much fun. I kind of want all the things. Um, what else is new? You remember last year we had the Fiji flower in the laundry. Everyone fell in love with it, so I don't want to miss out on cucumber and cactus water. Hopefully it's a stronger one. Uh, because aloe water and cucumber was not a strong scent for me, so I don't know. But it's a smaller bundle, so I think I'll be cashing out my other party, May 1st, <laughs> to get this stuff because I'm like, this is way too much fun. I don't want to miss out on this, so yeah. So hopefully that's helpful, you guys. Um, I'm sure there'll be a million people sharing like I just did, so I just thought I would attach it to this video. And when I get my um, monthly order, my monthly club order on Thursday, um, I'll also unbox the um, Hope Blooms warmer that I did get into. So, cause Dale will be with me so he can help me. So you guys stay tuned and um, hopefully all the mixes sounded like fun, seriously. I mean, I love trying things I would have never thought to put together. That was fun. <laughs> um, yeah, so lots of good suggestions, you guys. So um, mine just didn't have the right ratio, but um, I, I still think it's fun. Palo Santo with Johnny Appleseed, it just wasn't the right ratio. So um, stay tuned, you guys. Keep the ideas coming, and we'll see you Thursday. Bye.